What up, everybody? It's your girl, July, from Kickback Couture. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a hi-hat pattern like this. All right, first things first. Gonna grab a loop from the free fire loop kit that's been on my site for some time now. Gonna grab that one. Turn it down a bit. Alright, next I need a hi-hat, so I'm going to jump into the rack, and let's create an NNXT. Ignore everything I have in my template if it bothers you. <laughs> NNXT, going to drag this into its own rack, drop this down, and I'm going to go find a hi-hat in the browser. So, going to go into Reason Sounds, actually Factory Sounds. And in Kong patches, Kong sounds and samples, hi hats, and I'm looking for a specific hi hat right now. So I'm gonna type in the end of the name is BSQ, and it is where is it? Session. I want to use this one right here. Close the browser. Now I have my hi hat here. Let's go back into the sequencer. I'm gonna create a clip for this NNXT. Let's bring this up a little bit. Name it. Stay organized. Hi hat. Click inside of the clip. And now I can start drawing my pattern. So, in order to draw my pattern, you can click in with the mouse tool if you want to. But the way I do it is with this pen tool, right? Now, if I have this pen tool, I can do a number of things. It works similar to the mouse in that you can just click it in, but with the mouse, you gotta double click with the arrow. With the pen tool, you can just click once. So, that's the first quick tip. Now, when you have the pen tool, if you hold down Option on a Mac or Alt on a Windows, you can draw straight across and go back, right? Let's turn down this melody even more all right so now what i like to do is grab the pin tool turn down the second one so that i can have some variation in my velocity we even bring this up a little bit for you and then i'll duplicate this select them drag and select or you can hit command a Duplicate, Command D, is Control on the Windows. Alright, we can bring all of this up some more if we want to. Way to do it is to drag this up. Alright, now what I think, I think it's a little stiff. So what I can do is go into Groove and slide it a little bit. Now before I slide it, I'm going to set one of these to the first groove channel, which is this one right here now. I'm going to slide it. Let's listen to it as I slide it, actually. We hear how off that got towards the end. Let's go ahead and loop that. can even turn on the metronome so you can hear a little bit clear. That's no, no slide, no swing, nothing. Now it's got a little bit of groove to it because it slid off of the beat. 
Now, after I do that, I will build it out some more, right? Let's shut down the groove. I'm going to leave the swing settings how they are. Just going to remove it from here. All right. Let's add some rolls to this. Now, up here, I'm going to change this subdivision of this grid. I'm going to put it in grid mode. So when I zoom in, it'll also change the grid as I zoom in and zoom out both ways. All right. So let's listen and see where I want my rolls to be. Thinking I want one about here. So I'm going to get rid of this note. Grab that pen tool. Hold down Alt. Now, I think that's a little too abrupt. So what I can do while I have the pen tool, if I hold down Shift and Option, Shift and Alt on a Windows, I can get this tool here and make a ramp with the 808s for the velocity. I mean, the, the it's an 808 hi-hat maybe. The hi-hat. <laughs> so I would like that to be longer. So I'm going to take these notes and duplicate them over. And let's make a longer ramp. All right, cool. So there we have a roll. Super simple. Um, as far as placement in your rolls, with your rolls, it doesn't really matter, to be honest with you. Um, you can put them anywhere. It's going to depend on your melody and the rest of your drums. If you're doing your hi-hat first, the sky is kind of the limit and you build everything around it. But just place your rolls to where it sounds good in the beat. There's no specific place you can't do it. I could put it here at the beginning if I wanted to. All right, another cool trick with hi-hats or anything, any MIDI. If you want to select multiple notes, you go hold down shift to grab them. If I hit hold down command and shift, hit down, I could bring it down an octave. I could bring it up an octave, whatever you want to do. Sky's the limit with the octaves. With those two keys, I'm going to duplicate this, bring it up. Get that by holding down option. Let's decrease the velocity of these just drag it down all right this one i think is too low all right hi-hat pattern there now my personal opinion this is a little too overboard. So I'm gonna show you what I would do without much commentary.
cool. Let's uh switch out this melody. Now, what I would like you all to do is take at least, you know, one thing from what you saw me do and apply it to your workflow. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. It's all culture. Kick back and cook up.